Hi there, Raj. Well, 450 goats like the ones behind me can clear about an acre a day more if they actually like what they're eating. And because of all of that late rain, there's lots of grass and brush that now counties, cities and even homeowners associations are trying to bring the goats in to eat and they just love to eat. All of Mike Canada's 2,500 goats and sheep are at work around the Bay Area, munching away some of the dry grass and brush that sprang up after late spring showers, and it can't happen fast enough. Cal Fire reports that fuels are 40% drier than they were just a month ago and now rival the conditions of the historic wildfire season of the 1970s. These later rains actually hurt us more than they did good. Um, if we would have received no rainfall at all, the grass crop would have been very light. And because we received the late rains, we have very tall and heavier grass crops. Uh, grass is a, the predominant fuel that carries fire. The Crestview Homeowners Association here in San Carlos is paying for these goats to clear the hillside and make it look like the neighborhood across the canyon that they cleared last year. But counties and cities want to put Mike Canada's goats to work as well. We've got just as much work to do in less time. And we can't make the goats go any faster. A goat does what a goat does. 450 goats can clear about an acre a day more if they like what they're eating. And because they're good in steep terrain and in areas where spraying could hurt wildlife or the water supply, this Cal Fire unit chief is considering adding some four-legged help to his arsenal. It's a great tool to use out there. Uh, the goats are very efficient. Now, while the goats are eating high on the hog, so to speak, during the wildfire season, their owner, the owner of California Grazing, says that the off-season could be rough because if the drought continues, there may not be anywhere for them to graze. In Fremont, Chris Sanchez, NBC Bay Area News.